on everybody? How are we doing today? So a lot of you have been liking my mopping videos using this white sheet. And some of you have requested for me to get the iRobot Brava Jet M6 for my brother. So here we have it. He let me borrow it. Thank you, Matt. And uh, we're going to put it through the same exact test that we already did the iRobot Scuba. DBOT T8 Plus with its vibrating mopping pad and the standard one that came on it. And then also we did it with the Samsung JetBot. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, I do not think this thing is gonna do a good job on this test. I really don't. I hope I'm wrong because I actually really love iRobot products. I just am not crazy about this particular mop. One thing I really wish iRobot integrated in this mop was the vibrating pad that they have in its little brother, the 240. I don't know why they took that out, but I really believe that helped clean. So if you're not aware of how this works compared to some of the other mopping pads, this is one of the only ones that actually squirt water in front of it, and then it goes back and forth over the same area with the pad. Whereas every other mopping robot will saturate the pad with the little driplets or a pump that will basically shoot water onto the top of the pad and it will soak through to where it's cleaning. Let me go and show you the mess. It's almost identical to all the other ones. I have drips of ketchup. Ketchup that I smeared on. This is all dry, by the way. We have pancake syrup over here. This is probably the hardest thing for all the robots to get up. Over here, we have smeared on mild sauce from Taco Bell. Drips of mild sauce. And all that is dried on apple juice. All right, everybody, so I pre-wet the mopping pad like I did with all the other ones in this test. And what do you guys think? Do you think this guy's gonna do a good job? I just don't think it's gonna saturate the stuff enough to where it's gonna be able to get it all up. I do think it will get up the smeared on ketchup, the smeared on mild sauce, and it'll get up with the majority of this. I don't think it's gonna get up all this. But I think the only thing it's really gonna struggle with are these ketchup spots, that's my guess. I'd be really surprised if it does this job perfectly. I'll be very happy if it does, but that will surprise me. So what I basically do for all the other tests, I let these guys run two times. And I've noticed in the test, the first time it doesn't clean that great, but what it does, it kind of saturates all this dirt. And then the second run, it loosens it up and it's able to get up the majority of it. So we'll see if that's the same in this test. So here we go, BravaJet M6. I really do hope it does a good job, but like I said, I just don't know. Let's find out. Okay, good, the drop sensors work. Definitely don't wanna return this to my brother broken. <laughs> Nothing would be too happy with me. So obviously, most, as you've seen in most of these robots, they all get confused and it's pretty obvious why there is no border. See that they can go forward, but they're unable to. So in a future test, after I get my robot vacuum room done, I'm gonna do a small section with probably a couple of these whiteboards and I'll board it in to where it's an actual enclosed space. So it won't be doing this. This is the same thing that D-Bot did. And on the second run, it realized the shape of this room, if you will. And a second time it did really good and went around as if it was a small room.
I think it's got its bearings now. on the oh it's good on that up pretty good this thing might surprise me like i said i really hope it does because honestly i love irobot as you can see it's found its pattern so it should do this you know all the way down and then call it done and then i'll run it again because that's what i did on all the other ones and hopefully it's all cleaned up so I'm gonna set this up on the tripod, speed this up for you, and then we'll see how it did after the first run, and then we'll send it out again. If you're new, please do me a huge favor. Like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna stop it here because that blue light, I'm almost positive means it's done and it was gonna go look for the dock. Obviously the dock's not up here. So it cannot find it. So to just drive around until it airs out and says I can't find my dock, therefore kind of ruining this test because as it's driving around, it's gonna be cleaning. So let's take a look at how it did with the first run. It actually did better than I expected. I thought there'd be a lot more on here until the second run. So for what I got up on the first run, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I do think on the second run, it might just get everything up. I do think it'll get up the rest of the syrup, th that over there for sure. Maybe not the thick pieces of ketchup, but let's go ahead and find out. All right, everybody, it appears to be done. It parked itself back to the beginning location. And let's go ahead and take a look and see how it did. All right, I must say, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, did leave a little bit of the ketchup, which I kind of expected. I really feel that if this had the vibrating mopping pad, like the 240 or like the D-Bot TA Plus, this would have been cleaned up with no issue whatsoever. So I don't know why they did not integrate that into this model. Kind of a dumb move on their part. Hopefully they'll see that people love that feature and integrate it on the newest model, which I'm sure will be coming out in the next year or two. Apple juice, I mean, obviously no problem. None of them had issues with the apple juice. This one left a little bit of mild sauce there. And to my surprise, the syrup is also completely gone. So I must say, it did a very good job. So I must say, this thing, this thing did pretty good. All right, guys. So let me know down in the comments what you thought. Did it perform as you expected? It definitely outperformed what I thought it was going to do. So that makes me very happy. This is overall a good mopping robot. Is this the best mopper you can buy right now? I'm gonna have to go with a no. I think personally, this guy here is the best mopper you can buy. However, it's not smart. This iRobot is so much smarter. Like I said, you can map your house, you can tell it to go clean. It goes back and it recharges and it does all that great stuff. The Samsung cleans really well, but that's it. It cannot charge itself. It can't make a map. Really can't do anything like the iRobot can. So in my opinion, if you need just a mop and you don't care about it being able to 
charge itself up, make a map and all this stuff. I really do believe the Samsung cleans quite a bit better. But if you care at all about mapping abilities and all that, then really the best one on the market is this iRobot. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment, and let me know what you thought. Thanks a lot for watching. Have an awesome day, and we will see you in the next one.